Uh, hi, it's uh, me again uh, with the hat. Um, I wear the hat for all my adventures. This weekend is the Great Backyard Bird Count. And I am in my backyard and I'm ready to count birds. My backyard is a great place to count birds. We have a couple different bird baths. Uh, we have a couple bird feeders. Th three bird, oh, all right, maybe four. Okay. okay, we got five bird feeders and six. All right, maybe six. Okay, yeah, let's just say six. Uh, the backyard bird count was started by Big Bird. No, 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 not, not that Big Bird. By large birding organizations. They schedule it each year for the dead of winter uh, when we have a possibility of a polar vortex uh, because they got a sort of a odd sense of humor or a lot of warm clothes. Uh, first of all is uh, appropriate clothing. Nailed it. Uh, also, you have to work on your technique. Uh, for example, uh, technique with binoculars. If you see a bird somewhere, you bring the binoculars up to your face without taking your eye off the bird. You bring the binoculars. Oh. You bring the binoculars up to your face just like that in one smooth practice motion. Me, I'm analog, I count them one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. I'm good up to ten. What if there are more than ten birds? Well, if there are more than ten birds, I just say I saw a dozen-ish birds, maybe a couple dozen. Got to fudge it a little. My goal for the bird count? Well, it's to count all the normal birds I see around here, of course. And then I have stretch goals. I want to see more rare birds that you don't normally see around here. Really what I'd like to see here is an emu. There are no emus in Seattle. No, 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 no. I have seen emus in the area. I know there are emus around here. That was at the zoo. Oh, okay, it was at the zoo. That, that's true, that's where I saw the emu. But who's to say there aren't packs of feral emus just roaming the streets? Apps, of course. The best app out there is called Merlin Bird ID. It's free, and you answer five simple questions, and it shows you a picture of birds, and you just pick whichever bird is yours. It's a great app. Then there's something called birding by ear. You don't actually have to see a bird to count it. If you hear a bird and you know what it is, you can count it that way. So for example, if you hear a hummingbird, you absolutely know it's a hummingbird, you can count it. Of course, hummingbirds kind of sound a lot like juncos and sometimes you don't really. LBBs, little brown birds. It's really hard to tell one LBB from another LBB and what species they are. It takes a fine, practiced, experienced eye to distinguish them. Me, uh, I just plan on guessing. Uh, a lot of the regular birds in the backyard, I give them names. Uh, the LBBs, I can never tell. I just call all the LBBs Chris. Another challenge this weekend to keep from freezing to death. Uh, as you can see behind me, there's uh, snow on the ground, which is very unusual here. But around here, if there's snow on the ground, it's the Armageddon. Here are some of the birds that I've seen this weekend. Frank. Frank is a hummingbird. Frank the hummingbird has been looking in my window ever since he was a pup. Now, I can't figure out if Frank is just deeply curious about me and what I do, or Frank is deeply paranoid about me and wants to keep an eye on me at all times. 
A Townsend's Warbler. I love the look of a Townsend's Warbler. That black eye patch on the yellow head sort of looks like a jaundice pirate. Bush tits. You never see one bush tit. You always see a group of bush tits, and they just flow everywhere in a big group. Squirrels. Now, I know it's a little controversial to count squirrels in a bird count, but think about it. Squirrels eat lots and lots of bird food and are basically impossible to keep off of bird feeders. Stellar jays. Stellar jays are the talk radio host of the bird world. Stellar jays are always loud and angry. Northern Flicker. The Flicker is a very elegant woodpecker. It looks like it's always formally dressed, and there's no such thing as casual Friday in the Flicker world. LBBs, or Little Brown Birds. Here are a bunch of indistinguishable little brown birds. They're all named Chris. Well, except for the one in the middle. That's not Chris. That's a squirrel. Juncos. Juncos are very common around here in the winter. Juncos have a rigid social hierarchy. And woe be to the junco with some newfangled thinking of who should be boss. Bewick's wren. A Bewick's wren is a rare bird you can spot by its curved beak and white eyebrow. When it comes to personal space, they are sort of the total opposite of bush tits. The average territory for a pair of Bewick's wrens is five acres. Spotted towhee. Spotted towhees are supposed to be ground feeders, though we do see them in the backyard up at the feeders a lot. Maybe they're evolving. European starling. The European starlings are the two birds on the right. They have a reputation of being very aggressive. In the 1890s, 100 European starlings were let loose by some Shakespeare fanatics in New York's Central Park, and now we have millions of them throughout the country. House finch. House finches have such a dull, bland name. And really, they are brilliant, red-headed extroverts. Chickadees. Chickadees are friendly, optimistic birds. You can train chickadees to eat snacks right next to you. Or, or so I've heard. Opinions differ as to what the song sparrow is really like. Is the song sparrow a sweet bird just sending out its little song of joy to the other birds? Or is the song sparrow the original gangster thug hanging out on the bush saying, I'm the only song sparrow around here. There's not room for two. Crows. Crows are the pundits of the bird world. Crows are willing to give their opinion about everything including stuff they know nothing about. I feel a deep affinity with crows.